Hey guys, what is going on? It's Duncan here, back with another video. So I haven't really made a video on my computer for a while, so I've decided to make a tutorial video today because when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't I had to learn everything by myself, and so for upcoming YouTubers or people who just want to start making YouTube videos, I want to help them out by giving them some tips. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to start making thumbnails really easily and for free so guys if you've been on my channel before you see that most of my videos have thumbnails and most of them are actually pretty nice like for example this one right here you can see i worked really hard in that one but honestly guys it doesn't really take that much to know how to make a thumbnail so today i'm gonna be using folder photo editor which is a free app that you can get on the mac store for free and so this is only for Mac, sorry guys if you're Windows, but this is what I use to make all of my YouTube videos. So let me just show you how easy it is. So just press click here, just, uh, well, let's start from the beginning. So when you open the app, it'll just say edit collage or batch, and I always just put edit. And so you just ha have the thumbnail that you have have a picture of, or you just made it. And so I'm just gonna go to all my files and for example this is one of the wallpapers I've been looking at and so here it is so you go this is all I do is sometimes you can just go to effects or crop tons of different things you can do you can make it so that it's a lot blurrier everywhere else besides for the one area you can add text which is what I just do and the text that I use is I just use DIN condensed and like for example uh, let's name this sickest wallpapers yeah you know pretty lit and basically it, you can, if you want it in the middle it'll show you where the middle is and then you make it bigger you can choose the colors, choose the character spacings, all different stuff like that, and it's super easy to use. So all you have to do is go on your launch pad, go to the app store. Once you're on the app store, just look up Fodor, or there you go. Look up Fodor, spelled just like that, and download the first one. And it's easy as that. So just start making easy thumbnails, but if you wanna make, see, so this one that I made right here, this one right here required more than one picture. And I've used photo for a really long time, like probably like a year now, or not a year, probably like six months. And I had never really figured out how to put multiple photos. So before I even started making thumbnails and I tried to make channel art and stuff like that before, which I didn't, which, is, which didn't go too well, you can just go to this website called PicMonkey. And basically PicMonkey is just a photo editor that is online so this editor you cannot download this is for online so that's why I use folder for most of my stuff because I can do it offline like if I'm traveling or stuff like that but let me just now that you're logged in all you have to do is press edit and then it'll choose like stuff like um, it'll show you all your stuff and so I'm just gonna put up this was my thumbnail from a really long time ago and then the monkey just has to load and then this is what I use so you go right here and then you press add your own and then you go my computer and then you can add a bunch of images like that and then you can crop them and stuff like that and then after that I would put my images in and then I would save it off of here so basically you just go to save and then exit to save okay so then you press export and then there's different things so you can choose roger pierce or sean sean is the best i usually just use pierce so you don't really need that big of a file and then you can choose for a sort of like you can choose sort of how big because i have to get to like 720 but sometimes i need i need it to be like edit it a little bit more so after i've saved it use replace and then you open it up go down here go to folder cancel out that project or go just go to home i usually just okay never mind and then press edit add and then we can just go to my 
all my files, set up them, and then now that I have this in here, then I can just add text around it and whatever I need to do. So guys, that's my quick tutorial on how to make good thumbnails in 2017 because a lot of people are like, I'm, I wanna start a YouTube channel, but I wanna do it good the first time, which is what I didn't do. I started off just not trying very hard and that's why my channel didn't grow very much for a while. Once I started really getting into it, I learned how to edit better, and I learned lots of things, which I'll be doing other tutorial videos on. So this week, guys, on my channel, please subscribe. I'll be doing lots of more tutorials this week, maybe in the week after. So guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm out.